Welcome to Kitec Technologies Private Limited. This is the demo of Fiber Optic Trainer Kit ACT-12. This trainer kit consists of different blocks. The first is power supply block. This trainer has inbuilt power supply of plus 5 volt, plus 12 and minus 12 volt. Then we have function generator block. It has two output, square wave output and sine wave output. For amplitude adjustment and frequency adjustment, variable potentiometer is given. For sine wave, the amplitude and frequency can be adjusted with the help of these two potentiometer. And for square wave, the amplitude is fixed and frequency can be adjusted with the help of potentiometer. One switch SW1 is given for frequency selection from the range of 10 Hz to 10 kHz. Switch SW2 is given to select the link in analog or digital. When the switch is pressed, it indicates analog link. When the switch is unpressed, it indicates digital link. We have one FO transmitter of 660 nanometer wavelength and one FO receiver photo detector of the same wavelength. We have one AC amplifier and one low pass filter of cutoff frequency 3.4 kHz one comparator. For PC to PC communication, we have two numbers of RS232 trans receiver which can be used for PC communication in digital link. And for voice communication through fiber optic, we have audio input block which takes the mic as input and audio output block which has speaker, we can connect the speaker at the output of this. With this trainer, we provide standard accessories of 1 meter fiber optic cable, 2 numbers of RS232 serial cable, set of patch cords, set of speaker and mic for audio communication, set of mandrill and NS zig and NS scale for measurement of bending loss and for numerical aperture measurement. Now we will see the experiments related to analog link on fiber optic trainer. The experiment is setting up fiber optic analog link. Make the connection as given in the manual. For that connect output of sign to input of FO transmitter. Connect 1 meter fiber cable between FO transmitter and FO receiver through SMA connector. Now connect output of FO receiver to input of AC amplifier and output of AC amplifier to input of low pass filter. Now connect first channel of CRO to input of sine wave and second channel of the CRO at the output of low pass filter. And keep the switch in analog link that is in pressed condition. Now turn on the trainer. This is the output. The first channel is the input and second channel is the output. FO transmitter port is given to adjust the intensity and FO receiver to adjust the output of FO receiver. AC amplifier will increase the amplitude intensity of the signal. Now we will see other experiments related to analog link. Study of bending loss. For this experiment keep the setup as it was for analog link and measure the output voltage. 
this is the output voltage without any bend in the fiber optic cable now apply bend to the fiber optic cable with the help of mandrel provided and we can see that the amplitude is decreasing now measure the output voltage after applying the bend in the fiber optic cable we can see from the value of output we have obtained that when we apply the bend the output voltage decreases thus we have studied the bending loss experiment the other experiment is measurement of propagation loss keep the setup as it was for analog link measure the output voltage now change the 1 meter fiber optic cable with a different value of fiber optic such as 2 meter 3 meter or 5 meter and measure the corresponding output value we can compare the value of the output when 1 meter was used and when we used 3 meter fiber optic cable and we can see that as the length changes or increases the output value decreases thus we have studied the propagation loss now we will see voice communication with the help of fiber optic remove the connection from sine and connect it to audio in of audio input block and connect low pass filter output to audio out block now connect mic to mic in of audio input and speaker to speaker out of audio output as we change the pot p4 the intensity will increase and adjust for transmitter pot f4 receiver pot ac amplifier pot and audio output potentiometer to get the proper output at speaker out thus we have completed the voice communication using fiber optic now we will see the experiment of numerical aperture measurement using fiber optic trainer for that we need nsig and ns scale connect output of fo transmitter to input of nsig the scale on nsig indicates the length and the concentric circle on an s scale represent the width as we change the length and the width will change the intensity will change and measure the width and length and put it in the formula given in the manual to calculate the numerical aperture this way we have completed the experiment related to analog link on fiber optic trainer